Avatsara was a rishi of the Rig Veda. His name first appears in the fifth mandala which is older than the second mandala. Background Avatsara is the main poet of Sukta 44 of the fifth mandala of the Rig Veda which him addressed to the Rigvedic deities, the Visvedavas. He is more known for the set of eight hymns of four mantras each appearing in the Rig Veda viz. Suktish IX.53 to IX.60, and also in the Samaveda SV.757, SV.1717. He was the HOTR of the gods. He had delighted Agni by the six-syllable oblation, O Agni, enjoy the oblation, and was set free. According to Satyasada the Parvaras of Kashyaps consist of three Rishi, ancestors, Kashyap, Avatsara and Nadruva. There are eight notable Rishis belonging to the Kashyap family, Kashyap, Avatsara, Nidhurva, Reba, Devala, Asita, Bhutamsa and Vivra. Two unnamed sons of Reba were also authors of Rigvedic hymns. Topic as Vedic Rishi Avatsara was the son of Rishi Kashyap who was later than Rishi Vamadeva but earlier than Rishi Atri. The word, avata, denotes an artificially dug up water source or an artificial well. Avatsara Prasravana, like his father Kashyap, was a Rishi of the Rig Veda. His name first appears in Sukta 44 of the fifth mandala. He is more known for the Suktish 53 to 60 of the ninth mandala. These Suktish contain four mantras each, all composed in the Gayatri meter. In the Rig Veda, he addresses Ishvara as a driver, the fully armed and endowed with many subtle and fine divine powers and destroyer of all evil forces. Rv, ix he then addresses Ishvara as Sukram which means the purifier or the pure, brilliant as the sun his name appears in the Yajurveda, YV3, Ion3, XVIII where he prays to Agni, and in the Itareya Brahmana and the Kausataki Brahmana. From the verses of the Itareya Brahmana and Kausataki Brahmana both pertaining to the sacrifice of the five oblations, it is learnt that Avatsara had reached the home of Agni and had conquered the highest world. In Rig Veda Sukta IX.53, he reminds us that the learned people extract the wisdom of the ancients from the Vedas which are enlightening, and in Rig Veda Mantra IX.53, Point six zero point three. He tells us at Varanyavamano Asisiat Kalsam Abhi Devati, Indrasya Hardivisan that the Lord, in the form of knowledge and consciousness, resides in the cleansed mind and heart of the learned people and in the mind and heart of all those who know the Lord fully without being aware of knowing Him. Kashyaps <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Kashyap Marichi there appears to have been a second Kashyap who was the father of Avatsara, Narada and Arundhati, the wife of Rishi Vasistha and it was this second Kashyap who was one of the Sapta Rishis. And, according to the list of Rishis provided by the Matsya Purana, Kashyap had two sons, Avatsara and Asita, Niruva and Reba were Avatsara's son. But this list is doubted. The genealogy otherwise gives three groups among the Kashyaps the Sandliyas, Nadruvas, and Rabhyas. The Pravaras of these Gotras have Rishi Devala, who was the son of one of the eight Vasis. Thus, this second Kashyapa Nadruva, Sandilya, etc., Gotras descends from one of the eight Vasis and not Marichi Kashyapa. From Book IV Chapter 8 of the Srimad Bhagavatam it is learnt though Lord Maitreya that Dhruva, the son of Uttanapada through Suruti, and the grandson of Svambhuva Manu, had by his first wife Brahmi, two sons, Vatsara and Kalmavatsara or Kalpa. Gotra <laughs> <laughs> Avatsara is a pravara of Kashyap Gotra and also belonging to the two of the Sandilya variations. 